And welcome everyone to another special presentation of the ETBU Sportsnet. I'm Kenneth K. Rock Klein. And once again, we are continuing this semester where we are unveiling the all-time Tigers team uh, for the 20th anniversary of ETBU's football since its inception in 2000. We're shocking up casing the best players uh, in ETBU history through interviews and stories of memories both on and off the field. Now this week we are unveiling our all-time top Tiger linebacking core where we had 10 members unveiled. Among them that was selected was our special guest, Greg Washington. From 2001 to 2003, Washington played for the Tigers where he recorded 344 tackles, becoming the all-time tackles leader at ETPU. He was also an All-American, received three All-ASC First Team honors, and was part of the 2003 ETPU squad that not only made it to the NCAA playoffs by winning the ASC championship, but also made it to the second round of the playoffs as well. So, Greg, first off, thank you so much for taking your time. Congratulations for making it this honor, and welcome to the show. Thank you for having me, Mr. Klein. It's, it's, uh, it's an honor. Absolutely. Good to, good to see you once again, especially a former uh, ETBU player as well. Uh, before we talk about your football career, uh, let's talk about your, you know, what you were majoring in ETBU and what it is that you're currently doing as of right now. Well, when I started at ETBU in 2001, I was majoring in business. So I really, I wanted to do accounting, but then I was like, I, I don't see a profession for me in that. So I, I switched over to business management. And when I deployed in 2003 with the military, I kind of just stuck with it from that from that point on. Absolutely. So. Yeah, absolutely. So, um, you know, funny thing about it is uh, 2001, of course, that was ETPU's second uh, year as a football program. They had just had their first year. You were uh, coming into ETPU in 2001 as a freshman. What made you decide to join ETPU? Well, what made me decide to join ETPU was Coach Reed. Coach Reed came to Mahead, Texas, a little small town in Central Texas, and he used to come up to my job every week and my boss would be like, hey, that recruiter guy is out front. So when he showed the, the passion to want to have me come there and continue my career, I was like, this is the place for me. And so when I got here, it was it was pretty acceptable and it was a change for me playing with people I've never, ever played before. So it was a it was a it was a life changing event. And I'm happy that I, I decided to go to ETBU. Absolutely. Now, of course, uh, the 2003 season, definitely a marquee, memorable year for ETBU. Of course, that year you won the ASC championship as well. And of course, the big game that wound up being a big difference based on points was the game against UMHB, uh, where you ended up beating them by seven points in overtime. What do you remember most about that game uh, from your perspective? Uh, that game was a good game. They had a decent, uh, I ain't going to say decent, he was a, a real good running back, and they kept running a, um, a cutback. And at first we couldn't get a hold of it. And they kept having us going one direction and we was, we was going over pursuing and he cut back, get some big yards. And, but then we, we kind of got a hold of it. And I remember Jabori making big, big catches. And, and uh, I can't remember who got the interception in the end zone, but that game was a, a real big game for us. And Littleton Dean, if it wasn't him and Thomas Davis causing up the middle of the way they was doing and getting in the backfield, causing all the havoc, man, we, it just, the game could have went a different way. Yeah, absolutely. Of course, uh, that game, of course, was talking about talked to Jabori a couple weeks ago. And he talked about making a couple of fourth down conversions yeah. to keep your season alive as well. Uh, you know, your name has been brought up by some of your former teammates as well, especially uh, with a couple of guys, because they talked about the fact that around the same time as your NCAA playoff game, you had ESPN come down there and do a story or feature on you, especially since you were getting ready to be deployed for active duty as well. What do you remember most about that day? I mean, we're talking ESPN. This is a big deal, especially for a small town like Marshall. What, what, what was the feeling like having them come interview you for a great story? Well, let, let's back it up a week prior when we spent a play Mississippi College. I got the news that, um, that uh, I was going to be deployed with my unit out, out there in Marshall. And so really and truly, that was, that was my last game that I was supposed to play. And then we had a, a special teams coach, Coach K, we used to call him Coach K, and he knew some people that knew some people, and uh, he reached out to ESPN and told them the whole breakdown of what was going on in my career and also what was going on with ETBU, considering it was our first time ever going to the playoffs and being tri-champions. So that day, uh, they met me at the uh, auditorium, we met me at the field, we talked to the coaches, had a couple of players come in, do some interviews, and then they just walked around campus with me. It, it was just like any regular old day to me. I mean, the only thing I wanted to do was play football, so... 
um, when they did come, when they finally got in contact with the school and said they were going to come, that's when they notified me that I was a, I was able to play for that first playoff game. So it wasn't a for sure deal for me playing that first playoff game. Yeah, no, I mean, obviously a great story. Obviously, of course, it led to a big win for each of you as well. And uh, also, um, you know, looking at your stats, you had a couple of 20 tackle games in your career. One of them actually came against Trinity College as well. So definitely a, a great experience for you playing in the playoffs as well. Just kind of talk about the feeling of playing in the playoff game, especially since you got your first win and were able to make it to the second round. Playing in that playoff game, it wasn't – it was a big deal to me, but it was more so – I wanted the upperclassmen to enjoy this because we we were trying to beat the big three in the conference and we kind of let them down and losing to Harden Simmons by two points. So, you know, coming into that game, I was like, I want to do everything I can possibly do to make sure that these guys really experience that and be able to go to the next, you know, go to the next game and lock on me. And so I just, I tried to play every down like it was my last down because considering it really was. And um, after that kickoff and they put our defense on the field, Littleton Dean and Thomas Davis clogged up the hole and Chad Glover came off that corner and sacked the quarterback. He fumbled it and I picked it up for, um, I picked it up, picked up the fumble. Thomas Davis gave me a little push and I, I ran it in for a 40 yard touchdown, 34 or 40. So <laughs> it, that, hey, that was the greatest feeling in the world. And that game was so good. It was just like, it was unstoppable. That I think that they quarterback and they tight end connected for like five touchdowns. And then Earl Morris caught a big pass down the sideline on the left-hand side. And, you know, everybody thought he was just going to run away from everybody. But he cut between two defenders. And we like, why did you do that? But in the end, it still was a touchdown. So that was a big thing. And then, you know, when we got into overtime, um, we let them score. Well, we, I ain't going to say we let them score. They scored on us. And Littleton Dean did what he's always done. Went up through the middle, got one hand up, blocked the field goal. And, hey, we was going to the second round. Uh, that, that's really exciting to hear uh, from your perspective about uh, what happened in that playoff game as well. Uh, you received several awards throughout your time in ETBU, D3Football.com All-American as well, being one of them. Like, when people say, uh, you know, like Greg Washington, a part of the all-time Tigers team list, what does that mean to you to know that you are officially one of the best players to ever come out of ETBU? Man, it's a very humbling experience because coming into ETBU, I wasn't highly – highly recruited and so you see I'm wearing this military uniform so this was my first choice was I signed up for the service and like I say coach Reed came in and gave me the opportunity and I just went out there and played if it wasn't for the people that practice and the coaches and just constantly pushing us and pushing us from 2001 to 2003 I don't think we would have ever made it to the playoffs and then just those accolades it was a big thing it to me it was a real real big thing but in the end coming from that freshman year to that junior year it, my, my mindset got more on the team. So I loved all those things. And honestly, God, I didn't even know I made D3 All-American until I was half, until I was in Iraq. And I didn't even know that I had uh, made the All-Region team until just the other day when y'all put the stuff on the notes. I've never received any kind of like paperwork on that. So, I mean, just to have that is, is, a, is an honor. And then to be part of this all-time teams with all the names that y'all uh, listed on there, like uh, I, I think it's Pars uh, Ty Parson. I think that's his name. He just broke the single season record. And like, I actually got to talk to him and that was like, I was like, man, hey man, I'm glad that somebody from ETBU is breaking these numbers and doing the things that they're doing. And I'm glad that he set, set the standard for other players after us to be able to keep trying to attain and, and uh, get. And then also Michael Huckabee, man, if you ever got to play with that guy, trust me, you want to work your hardest to, to stay out of his way. Yeah, absolutely. Just looking at all the players on the linebacking core, obviously you have, I mean, we could build a team of linebackers and we wouldn't be disappointed in that position as well as everybody else as well. Um, you also are the all-time tackles leader at ETBU, 344. I mean, those are ridiculous numbers. Of course, you played at least for three seasons, so you averaged over 100 tackles per year. Talk about your time as a linebacker and what do you remember most about game days, especially when you're kind of getting on the field after making a big hit or just kind of the feeling knowing that the defense is getting ready to stop the offense. Man, see, look, you're giving me chills going back into memories like that, man, because, uh, like, um, I'm, I, when I get on the field, I'm a totally different person from the locker room. Locker room, I'm real down to earth and, like, sleepy until the game starts. So, you know, you come out that back door on the side, on the right side of the field house, and you, as you walk down the field, Coach Reed, which was my linebacking coach for the first two seasons, then Coach Willis took over after that. They played Eye of the Tiger. 
So we would only come out on certain pieces and the whole linebacking court, we walked down the hill instead of going down the steps. And then when we walked down the hill, everybody knew that we was coming. We didn't have to make a lot of noise. They just seen us. And then we would jog around the uh, sideline, go to the 50 yard line. And as we're going across the 50 yard line, we're looking at the other team, letting them know where we're setting up and letting you know that this is what you got to come through. And then once we got through the warm ups, it was, it was just exhilarating. And then, but to me, what really made me start playing when the game started was that first hit, that first hit. If I hit you and you fall backwards, you're going to have trouble all day. If I hit you and we stand up in the middle, I'm going to love, I'm going to love hitting you all game long. Now, if you run me over, best believe we're going to have problems for the rest of the day. I'm not going to stop until I get payback. So yeah. that's just the way I played. I just love the hit. And then, you know, and then having the squad that we had, it allowed me to be able to do that. So, I just, hey, game day was just amazing. <laughs> Absolutely. Note to self right there. Um, with the experience you had at ETBU, what does ETBU mean to you and the impact that it had on your life? ETBU means a lot. It, um, it, you know, it's a religious school, so it opened up my eyes to a lot of different things I didn't know as far as the religion realm. It also, it, it offered a lot of diversity there. It was a lot of different ethnicities there on campus that I got to experience how, how different people act in different situations. And it really created this bond of brothers that, that I still contact today. Like we have a group thread that's been going on for the last past two or three years, you know, but going off and on getting different phones. But these guys, we're so close knit. We stay at each other's houses. We, you know, we take care of each other. If, if, if a kid or, or somebody is graduating, we're there to support them. We have cookouts. We do a lot of stuff together. And ETV, if it wasn't for ETVU, I wouldn't have met these guys. And I just really appreciate the fact that they even gave me an opportunity to come and play. Uh, are you still keeping in contact with some of your teammates even to this day? Or And so what memories do you remember about playing with the guys on the field? I, I keep in touch with a lot of them. A lot of the D-linemen on Facebook, friends with a lot of them. Man, I, I got so many different memories. Uh, I remember when my – they call us the Twin Towers, Maurice Delaney, number 47. He got his first sack, you know, after trying to get on the field as much as possible. He's a great linebacker, came from Smiley, Houston, Texas. I remember him getting his first sack. I remember Bobby uh, picking up a fumble on punt return and running slew-footed for a touchdown. I remember Littleton Dean and all his plays, Thomas Davis, Brandon Nelson, uh, Gary McCullough, uh, a great running back. He broke his leg after like four or five games and still made the all-conference team. So that guy was a real amazing uh, person to me. Earl Morris, LaKendrick O'Neal. I mean, I can go through the whole list of people on every team from 2001 to 2003 in everything. And, man, these guys are amazing guys that could have played at any level. But it was a privilege for ETBU to get these guys and do the things that we did. Absolutely. Okay, so now time to put your recruiting skills to the test, if you will. Uh, you're talking to a current high school football player and you're trying to get them to go to ETBU. What would you tell them and why? Uh, why would they, they should go to ETBU? I'll tell them to come to ETBU because it's a great experience. If you want to embody leadership and learn how to be work as one through adversity or through anything, this is a great school. You have great coaches. You have great facilities. I mean, these facilities have grown a lot since 2001. And I believe that you're going to have the best opportunity to showcase your skills. Never feel feel down on yourself or, or worried about whatever D3 is, it's football. If you want to play ball, ETBU is the place that uh, allow you to do it. Absolutely. And one final question, of course, uh, you know, we're kind of dealing with all this uh, ongoing pandemic stuff and what other things that are going on around the world. Of course, for those that are watching this right now and getting into opportunity to learn from an alumni such as yourself, what kind of words of wisdom would you have to tell to the current generation of ETBU Tigers as of right now? Hey, this pandemic is just a little a little setback, but keep grinding, do what you have to do, stay safe, and just understand that your brothers around you is always there for you. Even the ones that are, are gone from the school, you can reach out to us through social media or whatnot. We'll be there to encourage you. But hey, this time will pass, and you will be able to be a Tiger and showcase your skills. Absolutely. Well, Greg, I just want to salute you first off and congratulate you for uh, – being a part of the All Tigers team uh, as a linebacker. Thank you so much for your time and uh, wish you all the best of luck in your future endeavors and looking forward to seeing you down the line. Thank you and go Tigers. Absolutely. That is Greg Washington. I'm Kenneth the K Rock Klein. Tune in next time as we will unveil our next All Time Tigers member. Stay around.